Hi everyone, it's uh, Corey with Sweet Bay Travel Concierge and I am excited to uh, bring you this, basically this virtual cruise night with Virgin Voyages. Um, as you know, I have been um, on, on the ships and I am an avid promoter of, of the brand and of, um, of these cruises in particular. I want you to meet Rebecca. She is um, my contact at Virgin Voyages and she's gonna actually walk you through what it's like in a cruise or on a cruise on Virgin and then um, answer hopefully questions that you might have that I wasn't able to answer in any of my videos or posts. Rebecca? Awesome. Thank you so much, Corey. I am super excited to be here, um, just like Corey said, to talk to you guys about Virgin Voyages, which is Richard Branson's adults-only cruise line. Um, so we launched this cruise line October 6th of 2021, and as they say, the reviews are in. So people are absolutely loving the experience. They are loving the ship. They're loving the crew. Um, they're loving the food. They're loving those amazing red hammocks, and they're especially loving that there are no kids on board. And it is not just our sailors who are showing us some love, but we're also getting some love from the trade as well. We did close out 2021 with, with Cruise Critics' best new cruise ship, calling it Design Forward Witty and Relentlessly Hip. We also have a brand new terminal. This is Terminal V. So for any of our sailings out of Miami, which uh, your sailing will be out of Miami, this is uh, the terminal that you'll go through. This is on the Northwest corner of Port Miami. This is where you'll do your embarkation, your check-in, and you'll also receive your band. Your band will act as your room key, as well as um, your form of payment while on board as well. Okay, why you guys are here today to learn what it means to set sail the Virgin Way. And one of the key differentiators that has been in place uh, since day one and that we have proudly stood by is that there are no children on board. So you must be 18 years or older to sail with us. And you can imagine not having kids running down the hallways or shouting by the pool. It just kind of creates a much more relaxed, adult-focused vibe on board. Our entertainment is also very different. Uh, we don't have that traditional uh, Broadway style entertainment. I will talk to you guys about our different programming as we go through the presentation. The design of our ship as well, we did not look to the cruising industry for design inspiration here. So it really does um, combine the luxury of a yacht uh, with the options of a larger vessel. So it really feels a lot more like a floating boutique hotel. And then our dining, our dining is also very different. Uh, we do not have any buffets. So no buffets, no forced formal wear, um, no forced dining times, um, no assigned seating. It really is a come as you are metropolis style dining with a reservation system that is similar to open table. So you will have 20 plus eateries included um, as well as all the six specialty restaurants. I will go through those uh, throughout the presentation as well. But the main takeaway here is all the food is fresh, made to order. Uh, vitamin C, so we also like to call this detox and retox. Um, there are lots of ways for you to retox. We've got our pajama party, our scarlet night. Um, we have the manor, which is our great nightclub on board. And then we also have many ways for you to detox. We've got an amazing variety of health and wellness activities on board, including all of those group fitness classes, which are included. And then you also have other ways to pamper yourself with our award-winning spa and other areas on board. And then destinations, what makes us different? We have late night stays and overnight stays. Each one of you will receive $600 of value included on us um, because something we don't like to do here at Virgin Voyages is nickel and dime our sailors. So there are no hidden fees and there are no surprises. It really is, you know, what you see is what you get. So all of that food is included at the 20 plus eateries. All of your tips are included. Your basic Wi-Fi is included. All that onboard entertainment, all those group workouts, and then your essential drinks are also included. So essential drinks for us are going to be your still and sparkling water, your non-pressed juices, your soft drinks, your tea, and your drip coffee. And for everything else, we have Bar Tab. Bar Tab is our cure for the common drinks package. 
Um, you know, when we were conceptualizing Virgin Voyages, uh, we, we did some uh, research to find out what people like and don't like about drink packages. And uh, one resounding uh, feedback that we received was, you know, two people in a cabin and one person wants to drink and the other one doesn't. We definitely don't feel that we should force the person who doesn't want to drink to buy a drink package. So we created Bar Tab, and that is a prepaid $300 bar tab that you can use towards alcoholic beverages, fresh pressed juices, smoothies, and specialty tea and coffee. So any non-essential beverage. Um, I'll just talk to you guys quickly about pricing. Again, remember all those tips are included. Beers are going to be between six to eight dollars. Cocktails are 12 to 15 and 42% of our wines by the glass are less than $10. Um, you can also use your bar tab for shake for champagne, which I'll talk to you guys about. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the ships and itineraries. Now we are um, focusing on Corey's group sail date, which is the Thanksgiving cruise um, Riviera Maya sailing. But just in case those dates don't work for you or you want to do more than one uh, cruise, I want to make sure that you know all the options that we have available uh, that you can go to Corey for. So these are our ships. We have four. They're all basically the same 2,770 maximum sailors. 1,408 cabins and suites. And as you can see from this photo, the majority of those cabins do have a balcony and the majority of those um, balconies will have one of our famous red hammocks. And then just a random fun fact, our ships are approximately 155 Richard Branson's in length. So these are our four ships. We currently have um, Scarlet Lady and Valiant Lady both sailing out of Miami right now doing four, five, six, and eight night itineraries in the Caribbean. And then um, Valiant Lady will make her transatlantic crossing after the winter and she'll spend the summer doing two seven night Mediterranean itineraries out of Barcelona. Then we have Resilient Lady. She will be joining us this May, uh, sailing out of Athens on two seven night Greece itineraries. And then Brilliant Lady will be joining the party this December. So we'll just go over some of those itineraries. Scarlet Lady has four itineraries. Riviera Maya is the itinerary that we have chosen um, for this group sailing. You'll be going, you'll have a sailing day, go to Cozumel, another sailing day, and then have a day at the Beach Club at Bimini. Dominican Days will be calling at Puerto Plata and the Beach Club. Maya and Soul will call at Costa Maya and the Beach Club. And then Fire and Sunset Soiree is our shortest itinerary only four nights calling at Key West and the Beach Club at Bimini. So this is the Beach Club at Bimini. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is our, our private beach club um, located in Bimini. So when um, Virgin Voyages ships are in port, it is only Virgin Voyages guests um, in, in the uh, Beach Club. So you can um, get to the Beach Club as early as 9.30 in the morning. Um, that's kind of the ideal time if you're wanting a chill experience because the DJ will start playing around 1 p.m. Um, my insider tip is you do get food included at the beach club. It's incredible and it is different than the food that you will have on board. Valiant Lady will also be doing, is also doing two itineraries out of Miami right now, an eight night and a six night, uh, including San Juan, St. Croix, Roatan and the beach club. And then Valiant Lady will do her transatlantic over to Barcelona and she'll have these two amazing seven night uh, Mediterranean itineraries. We have French Days and Ibiza Nights and the Irresistible Med. Both of those will include an overnight in Ibiza and then the Irresistible Med is in a different port of call every single day. Last but not least, we have Resilient Lady. Super excited for her. Um, she'll be launching in Athens this summer um, with Adriatic Sea and Greek Gems, which has a late night stay in Dubrovnik and then Greek Island Glow, uh, which has 36 hours in Mykonos. So we'll arrive at 9 a.m. on uh, Friday and we will not leave until 2 p.m. on Saturday. So lots of time to explore there. Let's take a look at our cabins. We have our sea terrace. This is our entry level balcony uh, cabin. And you can see that amazing red hammock there. Um, and then I just wanna draw your attention to the split screen here on the bottom left-hand corner. This shows a couple of different ways that you can have your room configured. You can either have it set up as a sitting area or as a bedroom, and you'll just ask your room steward to do that and they can make that change for you. You can request that change um, by using your tablet. So every room will come with a tablet and you can control all of the room features with that tablet. So we have different mood settings, different lighting, 
and you can open and close those curtains. You can order room service. Uh, you can control the TV with a tablet. You can also um, ask your room steward to come and they can change and uh, rearrange your bedroom as well. And then we don't have any C terrace to C terrace connecting rooms, but what we can do is this gray partition that you see here behind the hammock, we can actually push that all the way back and create a shared terrace space between two C terrace cabins. <clears throat> and then if you are in the mood for a rock star experience, uh, we do have 78 suites. We have 63 of our first tier rock star quarters and then 15 mega rock star quarters. So I'll just go through the benefits of each of those levels. So the first tier, you guys are going to receive early booking and priority access, which means you can book your shore excursions and your dinner reservations before anybody else. You will also have the first round of the curated in-room mini bar on us. You will also have access to Richard's Rooftop, which is our, our uh, members only, very glamorous rooftop lounge. And then you'll also have access to our 24 seven uh, rock star agents who are on hand to help make the most of your voyage. And then if you are a go big or go home type of sailor, then I definitely recommend one of our 15 mega rock star suites. So Meg, this is, I would say the most all inclusive experience that you can have with us on board. Um, you are going to receive a bottomless in-room mini bar. You're also going to receive premium Wi-Fi. Um, guests here will also receive our daily bar tab. So this means that you, all your drinks will be included on board and at the beach club up to a $25 maximum per beverage. So that really will cover most, most of the beverages that you're gonna wanna drink on board. Um, you'll also have daily spa access. This is gonna be a three hour pass to um, the thermal suite and redemption spa. This will include the sauna, the mud room, the salt room, the steam room, hot and cold plunge pools, as well as these amazing marble, like heated marble beds that you can zen out on. We will also include private transfers up to a 50 mile radius to and from the ship. And then you will have your very own Rockstar agent to help make all your Rockstar dreams come true within reason. And then this is Richard's rooftop. I can tell you it really is as cool and glamorous as this photo looks. Um, we will have cocktail hours, pop-up performances, all kinds of uh, nice fancy parties uh, for your um, suite level sailors here. And then health and wellness. We really are um, a cruise line where if you are the type of a traveler where you like to stick to your health regime, your healthy regime, you can do that on board with us. Uh, we have these four beautiful indoor spaces. We have B Complex Balance. This is where we do our yoga classes. We have some fun classes in there too, like bungee yoga and bar classes. We have B Complex Build. This is where we'll do our strength training and hit classes. Burn is for cardio and bike is for spin. Um, and you will get all of these classes included for free. But if you wanna just go to these spaces and use the spaces when there's not a class in, in session, you can do that as well. We do have these wonderful outdoor areas too. We have training camp. This is where we have our boxing rings and our gymnastics equipment. We have the athletic club. This is where we have the largest day bed at sea. We have a sports bar here. Uh, we will also have like the giant seesaws and the big rope swings. We call this kind of like an, a zone where even though we don't have kids on board, we want you to be able to get in touch with your inner kid. We also have the perch. This is on the 17th deck. This is where we do sunrise yoga and sunrise meditation classes. And then it just kind of turns into a chill out area in the evening. And then we have the runway. This is our standalone running track. It's also a really great spot. If you're an early riser, just grab yourself a tea or a coffee and go up there and walk around and just kind of soak in um, the views and the ambiance. It's really just beautiful, a beautiful area to be. And then after all that working out, you need to know where to go to pamper yourself. We have the tune-up where you can get a Manny and Petty with a view. We have Redemption Spa. I already told you guys a little bit about this. This is where you guys are seeing, uh, what you're seeing right here is the thermal suite. So this is the area where we've got those cold plunge pools, um, the hot, the steam room, the sauna. So any um, spa treatment that you, you get will include that three hour pass. If you don't have time to do a spa treatment, then you can just purchase a three hour pass. So my insider tip here is that there is a um, discount at the spa on port days and the spa is open until 10 p.m. 
Next up, we have Dry Dock. This is where, this is our beauty bar. You can get your Scarlet Night Blowout here. And then we have Stubble and Groom. This is our barbershop oasis for men on board who also uh, like to be pampered and groomed. And then let's, oh my gosh, guys, can anyone say fun? I absolutely, whoops, love this slide here. Um, I'm going to pass this back over to you, Corey, to tell us a little bit about your favorite onboard experiences. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, so obviously, um, this is me and my bestie, Jess. We went on a cruise in October of 2022. It was a girls cruise and I am a foodie and you'll see in the uh, left-hand corner, I also am a coffee addict. <laughs> so for me, for me, it was all about the food and all about um, like the eateries that are available um, on Virgin. I've been on other cruises and the restaurants are top, top ranked um, uh, experiences. Some of my favorite uh, uh, eateries were Razzle Dazzle and then Gung Bay. Mm -hmm. um, we had so much fun. And then, of course, you can't have um, – you. we liked – it was girls' trip. So we, we loved the cocktails as well. Um, at Pink Agave, my favorite was Agua Frescas, and their food was phenomenal. It was just, like, it was a foodie's dream. 20 eateries, uh, and then even the galley, you know, for a late night snack going in um, after after the show and getting breakfast, <laughs> that was something we enjoyed as well. <laughs> so, but um, one of the things I will say about Beach Club is not only was it relaxing, but for adventure seekers, um, Jess and I actually went on the excursion where we swam with sharks. Oh my and gosh, that fun. was that that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> and um, she made me face my fears, and we went in there, and it was just so much fun. So oh, I love that. Yes. And you're right. We do have a lot of fantastic excursions. We don't go over any of the excursions in this presentation, but there are amazing excursions and you can pre-book those with Corey, um, you know, to make sure that you get the excursion that you want. So be sure to reach out to Corey for any excursion information as well. Okay. So let's go over. Thank you, um, Corey, for that. I, I love that you did that short excursion. That's amazing. And uh, Pink Agave is also one of my very favorites. So I'm, I'm excited to talk to you guys about food. But first up, I'm going to talk to you guys about the entertainment that we have on board. Um, so this is really, I would say, just kind of scratching the surface here. Um, but we do have the groupie. This is our bookable karaoke lounge. Um, you can pre-book this or you can even just show up. We also have a smoke-free casino. And then the Red Room is really neat. This is the first multi-transformational theater at sea. And if you're like, Rebecca, what does that mean? We can actually configure this room into four different setups so that we can have different types of entertainment in the same entertainment space. And then we have the Social Club. This is um, where you're going to go for all of your games. So we've got shuffleboard and air hockey and foosball. We also have an entire, this giant cabinet that's just full of different games. We'll have two or th two big screen TVs in here. So if there are any sporting events going on, this is where you're going to go to see those sporting events. And then we'll also have pop-up karaoke, <clears throat> pop-up um, game night. And then at some point during the cruise, they'll set up this giant like coloring book page and you can just go by and add your own flair to it. It's a really, really fun space. And then this is where you're going to go, I would say, to get your junk food. We've got hot dogs and chili pie and oversized cake pops and popcorn and stuff like that here. And then just on the other side of the social club is our video arcade. And then entertainment, I told you guys, it's super different. It is not your traditional Broadway style entertainment. Corey, I don't know if you had a chance to, to go to any of their performances, but um, I'm I just going to take us all. What, what performance was your favorite or did you go to anything that's on this slide? Um, we did the, the, the first night dancing. I can't remember. Um, it's yes. So upper right-hand corner. Yes, Untitled dance party show thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
I absolutely love like love that. To me, it's almost like performance art. Like you walk into this room, there's no chairs, and like you're just fully immersed in this dance performance that by the end of it turns into a dance party. The stage is moving across the floor. I mean, it's just such a unique and different experience. And then I would say in contrast to that, um, we have Dual Reality, which you can see right there on the top left-hand corner. And this is a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet, but with a Cirque du Soleil acrobatic modern dance flair. Um, super amazing. It's a very moving. We definitely have very talented performers on board. And uh, that was that was probably my favorite one was Dual Reality. We also have Dinner Theater on board. <clears throat> we have um, Another Rose. And we also have a ship show. So a ship show is our variety style show. So kind of like America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent style uh, show that we'll have. And then last but not least is our arcade. I love this space. I'm an old, old school arcade junkie. Um, so this is open 24 seven. If you need to go play Mario Brothers at 2 a.m., you can do that. Everything is set to free play. Um, so no quarters required and you can live and die as many times as you need to. And this is right next to the social club. Even as a girl's trip, we spent quite a, quite a bit of time in there. So you did? Okay, I love that. Yes. I love that you're an arcade fan as well. <laughs> um, and then this is Scarlet Night. I love your Scarlet Night photo. Um, I don't want to tell too much about it because I kind of feel part of the fun is like the mystery around Scarlet Night, but it is our big celebration on board. Um, this is we're celebrating the love between the goddess of the sea and her sailor. Um, and it, the whole ship kind of transforms over this three to four hour period. We'll have pop-up performances. Um, we'll have like sparkly fish hanging from the ceiling. These big tentacles kind of show up and the whole ship kind of takes on a little bit of a red hue. Um, and that's what we recommend. We say wear a splash of red um, and just really enjoy the unexpected. It is a really fun night. And I don't know, do you want to say a few words about your Scarlet Night experience? Um, I ended up um, completely wet. My dress was completely wet. <laughs> I love it. Did it you just... jump in the pool? Uh, I did not jump in the pool, but I was okay. dancing in the pool. Um, okay <laughs> and so by the end of the you know by the end of it my entire dress was wet <laughs> I love it yes right <laughs> and there are people who will jump in the pool at the end now you don't have to do that there are spaces um you can actually there's a whole other deck here if you can see above that you can just kind of watch if you're more of a watcher and less of a participator but it is really fun and guaranteed you know everyone will have a great time at Scarlet Night and then Shake for Champagne, this is also like totally unexpected, totally glamorous. Um, we are a brand that is unapologetically in love with champagne. And we just feel that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you should have access to champagne. So we created an on-demand champagne delivery service. Um, so you'll just shake your phone, accept the terms, and no matter where you are, uh, we will bring you a chilled bottle of Moet and Shandon. So you can have a rock star moment, even if you're not in a rock star suite. And then this is the best part, the food. Um, I'm a super big foodie and I can definitely tell you that the food on board is amazing. Again, no buffets, so everything is fresh made to order. So I'm just going to take you through the six specialty restaurants. Uh, first up is The Wake. This is, I like to call this our Mad Men inspired restaurant. This is where you're going to get like your glamorous steak and seafood options. It is also a great spot for a lingering brunch. You can get brunch here um, and you can add on bottomless mimosas or bottomless bellinis. And I think it's like 25 to $35 for the bottomless options. Um, and then we also just have fun brunchy cocktails by the drink as well. Uh, but that is The Wake, a really fun, elegant spot. Then we have Gun Bay. This is the one you were talking about, Corey. This is amazing. This is the first Korean barbecue at sea. It is so much fun. This is great for groups. It's great for solo travelers. It's great for couples. Um, if you're not in a group, we will place you at a table with other people. You'll have new friends by the end of the evening. Uh, we do include the first round of soju, and there is a fun drinking game that you'll get to play here. And then we have Razzle Dazzle. This is your other favorite. Um, this is our vegan vegetarian forward restaurant that has a naughty section of the menu. So that means you can get all kinds of good meat options here. It is the best bacon on board. And then I'm not sure if you know this, but there is a secret menu at Razzle Dazzle as well that you can ask for. <clears throat> and then Test Kitchen. Did you get to do Test Kitchen, Corey? 
I did not get to do Test Kitchen. I wanted to, but I didn't You're get it. You're going to have to do it. This is such a neat experience. Like they've, I'm just going to say the first time I've noticed the guy with the camera, it's totally Instagrammable. Um, so this is like part cooking lab, part restaurant. You are going to walk in. You're, they're going to give you a menu that's got six different ingredients on it. You'll just let the chef know if you have any food allergies so that they can kind of alter the menu in case they need to. But then you'd really just kind of, it's a six course meal that you, it's just an amazing experience. Every course is different. I would call this like molecular cuisine, like deconstructed molecular cuisine. Um, and this is fun. You can add a cocktail pairing, a wine pairing, or a beer pairing onto this. I did the, um, cock, the uh, wine pairing and it was six amazing glasses of wine. Um, and it was about $35 for that. So Test Kitchen is just a really unique experience. You'll have to try that. Extra virgin, I will bring your attention to the charcuterie board here. This is definitely how you want to start your meal at Extra Virgin. This is our Italian restaurant. And I always tell this story. When I first started, somebody told me that we fly our flour in fresh from Italy. I don't think that that is true, but it definitely tastes like it. The pasta is so good and you've got lots of different options you can choose from. And then we recommend ending with the table side affogato card. It was delicious. Um, I actually had that carbonara and then we had the affogato. Yeah, it was it's fantastic. It was amazing. <laughs> and they have really good cocktails here as well. I got the Italian stallion and that's like my go-to at extra virgin. Now it's just like a very, I don't know if it has lemoncello in it, but it's very light and citrusy and just kind of complements the food there. Um, but yes, I love the affogato cart too. It's such a cool way to end a meal. And then Pink Agave, this is my last specialty restaurant here. We always say this is the restaurant where you can order as much guacamole as you like, but literally everything there is good. I haven't had anything there that I didn't like. Um, it's been inspired by um, street food, Mexico street food scene, but it's an upscale restaurant. Um, and then they have a very large variety of mezcal if you're a mezcal fan. And then my insider tip is always to end with the chocolate tacos. It's fantastic. And then the galley. I love this. This is a really neat concept. It's 10 different eateries um, and it is table service, although bento baby, you can go and pick up bento boxes um, and it's not going to be just sushi. We will do charcuterie bento boxes. We do these really nice um, breakfast bento boxes that have like yogurt and granola and fresh fruit. We do just fruit bento boxes. So you can pick those up, take them to your room, leave them in your um, mini fridge because every room will have a mini fridge um, and just snack on those um, as you wish. The Daily Mix, amazing salads, well-bred. This is where we have bread and we also have pastries and little little cakes and things here at well-bred. Our taco stand, uh, panini at hot off the press, noodle around for ramen. Diner and Dash is like your English style breakfast um, or American breakfast as well. Um, and this is open 24 seven. And then burger bar is some of the best burgers I've ever had. Pizza place. This is our, um, pizza parlor where you can have fresh made pizzas and fresh salads. And there is a sitting area right here where you can sit outside. And then last but not least, right in front of the pizza parlor is our ice cream parlor. Lick me till I scream. This is a really fun parlor. Um, the flavors will rotate. There will always be a vegan flavor. And then we've got about four or five different flavored ice cream cones as well. We so that kind of wraps, day. say again, <laughs> I said, we had to get one every day. Oh my gosh. Like. <laughs> yes. I love that they have options. That's what I love. Um, so, and the ice cream is really good. So that kind of wraps up my, what is it to set sail the virgin way? Now I want to talk about the itinerary that, um, Corey has selected. This is the Thanksgiving itinerary. You guys, Thanksgiving without the kids or family, um, Riviera Maya, you guys will have, you'll depart out of Miami, out of Terminal V. You'll have a sailing day. Then you'll have a day in Cozumel. Don't forget, you've got all kinds of shore excursions that you can book through Quarry. Then you'll have a sailing day. And then you have your beach club day, which again, you can spend like your morning at the beach club and then go do something fun in the afternoon. Uh, and then you'll be back to Miami. Um, so please reach out to um, Corey. I'm going to show you guys our promotion we currently have. So this is running through the end of fe February, 55% off the second sailor. Plus you guys will be eligible for a $300 bar tab per cabin. So this is free just for booking between now and the end of February. 
So the BOGO 55 will apply to C Terrace, C View, and Insider cabins only. So it does not apply to suites, but the free bar tab does apply to suites and it will um, cover the, the sailing date that you guys have chosen. So if you're wondering what $600 or $300 can get you, it is a lot. Remember that your bar tab can be used for alcoholic beverages, smoothies, fresh pressed juices, and specialty tea and coffee. Guys, we have a really amazing um, champagne tea that we offer in the Sip Champagne Lounge every day from one to four. You can totally use your bar tab on that. It's a really unique experience. And then anybody who books in the next seven days, so if you book by February 8th, you guys will get additional sailor loot. So sailor loot for us is our version of onboard credit. You can use this for literally anything. You can use it for drinks. We have a tattoo parlor. You can get a tattoo with it. Um, spa services, anything in the retail sector as well. We've got shops on board. You can use this for literally anything. Um, so you'll get $50 of sailor loot per cabin for CV or insider, $100 of sailor loot per cabin for C Terrace, C Terrace XL, and $200 of sailor loot if you are in any of our rock star suites. And that is combinable with the current wave offer. So again, you guys, it is November 19th to the 24th of this year. Um, you only need to put down a 20% deposit to get this sailor loot and your bar tab as well as your 55% off the second sailor if you guys are not sailing in a suite. Remember, reach out to Corey. And then Corey, I'm gonna throw it back to you um, for any final uh, words, and then I'll end the recording and we can take any questions. Okay, um, thank you so much, Rebecca. Guys and, and gals, um, reason I, I selected the Thanksgiving um, week was because you know, sometimes you don't want to cook and <laughs> um, Thanksgiving can be a lot of cooking. So why not take, take a year off, go enjoy yourself as a parent and as a mom, sometimes it always comes back on us to have to make yep. and make sure that Thanksgiving is perfect. So we can go and have somebody come and actually serve us we can spend our time with our family and just have a good time I love it absolutely that, true 100 percent. yeah <laughs> all right well awesome thank you so much and thank you Corey thank you everybody who is watching this recording all the way to the end um, don't forget, you can reach Corey by phone or by email. And then Corey, I'm going to send you this recording um, and you can also send that out to everybody as well. Thank you so much. All right, everyone have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.